Welcome to the last video of this series. My name is Bev Drew, your facilitator, and this series is about using motivational interviewing to talk with youth about alcohol. This is the last video, so you're almost done. In this video, I'll talk about what you might do if you hear the youth say they have no interest in changing their risky alcohol use. I'll also summarize briefly what I have covered in this series and share some information about where you might sign up for MI workshops if you're interested in learning more. You might meet some youth who have been mandated to come and see you for various reasons. and They're usually not happy about it. You might also discover as you talk to some youth, mandated or not, that they really are not interested in making a change to their alcohol use. For some reason, they just aren't ready. There are a few things you can do to ensure your relationship with this young person remains open for business. There are a few ways to leave the door open to continue this conversation with a young person who says they're not interested in changing. First off, you might ask them an open-ended question to get them thinking more about it. Is there any reason at all that you might consider making a change in your alcohol use? It's easy for them to say no, no reason, but they might also bring something up. Secondly, you can acknowledge what they're saying in a non-judgmental way. Pay attention to your tone of voice. You're not interested in changing your alcohol use at this time. Thirdly, let them know they can come back and see you at a later time. If ever you feel you'd like to chat more about this, you're very welcome to come back. I'd be happy to talk with you at any time. So you're leaving that door open. If you're lucky, you might just get an opportunity to see this young person again and continue this conversation about alcohol. It's also possible that even just that brief conversation got them thinking about it. And they might make a change that you might not even be privy to. You, you won't see it, but something might have shifted for them in that brief conversation. In this video series, I've introduced some of the basic MI information as it relates to talking with youth about alcohol. I really hope it's been helpful for you in the work you do with youth. Remember that there are a number of resources included in the resource section of this website. If you decide to use them, these resources are really meant to support your further learning and skill development in motivational interviewing. A manual called Using MI to Engage Youth in Healthy Conversations About Alcohol is included in the resource section on this website under the Saskatchewan Prevention Institute section. This manual includes most of the content included in this video series and a list of references. If you require any further information about any of the content in this video, please contact the Saskatchewan Prevention Institute. You can find specific information about the Northern Alcohol Strategy on this website. If you're interested in participating in an MI workshop to learn more and to really deepen your skills, you can contact the Saskatchewan Prevention Institute to find out more about upcoming training opportunities. It has been my pleasure to be your facilitator for these videos and I really thank you for watching and I thank you for your work with young people.